Hello and welcome to the video for what is a blueprint interface. A blueprint interface is a collection of one or more functions in name only. There is no implementation. These blueprint interfaces can be added to blueprints to guarantee that they have the functions. A good example is maybe you want to allow something to take damage like a tree or a car. But one of the differences is the tree does not have four wheels. Well, you can simply use a blueprint interface to allow it to take damage and add it to each of those objects. And anytime something hits them that can cause damage, they can check and see if they can take damage. For our example, if I run it through quickly, the red one shows cannot take damage on the bottom right and the green one, the same thing. That's because we have not set up our interface. Right click on our content browser, go to blueprint, go to blueprint interface. We'll call this BPI underscore damageable and open it up. By default, this is what you see with one generically named function. We'll change this to custom damage event and we'll put one input of type integer called damage amount that we will use to determine how much damage we will do. That's it. That is all there is to a blueprint interface. It is simply the signature for the function that will be inside of anything that implements this interface. So if we go ahead and go into our third person character, we can go ahead and add that event. Well, if we go to custom damage event, you'll notice we don't have that actual event that we can add. Well, we have not told this blueprint that it implements that interface. If we go to class settings, down to implemented interfaces, we can add the blueprint interface that we've just created and recompile. Now, if we add the custom damage event, you'll notice add event, event custom damage, target is BPI damageable. We click on it. Here's our new event that will be called whenever something wants to call this interface function. You'll also notice the little blue icon on the top right to indicate it's an interface function. We're going to go ahead and make this really simple. I've gone ahead and copy pasted out a quick little thing. All we're going to do here is we are going to access our UI widget, change our player health. We're going to add in the damage amount this time rather than it being a static value and then check and make sure it's between 0 and 100 and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to actually we'll just go ahead and remove that this time and we'll set that as our new player health so if we send in a positive number our health will go up if we send in a negative number our health will go down that's it that's simple we if we go ahead and play you'll notice nothing happens well we haven't set up our objects yet so if we go into our bad object to start with You'll notice I've already set up something and we will quickly go over it. When we overlap, we check the hit after and we check if it implements interface. Right now, we are not checking anything. We will change this to BPI damageable. Now, if we go ahead and run and we check the bad interface, you'll notice it says can damage. Well, that's good, but it still doesn't remove anything. So we'll go in and if it can damage it, we'll go down here and this just simply updates the text. After we update the text, we actually need to call the custom damage event. So we will call the custom damage event by sending a message indicated by the icon to where we're sending it. Well, we need to make sure we send it to the actor that we overlapped and we'll send in a damage amount of 10. Now, if we go ahead and save and run again, you'll notice we now have 10 damage being added. Well, Keep in mind we're adding, so it's going to go up each time. So let's correct that, and let's actually lose 25 now. We hit play. There we go. We'll subtract 25. We'll go to the green one, and still nothing happens. Well, we haven't actually edited the green one yet. We'll make that really quick and simple. Make sure we implement the DPI, BPI damageable. If we do, we go over here. We call our custom event. We call our custom event. Let's keep trying to get an area. And we'll go ahead and we'll add in 10 health every time. Now, if we run this right now, it's going to fail. It's because we do not have a target. We need to make sure we call that on what we hit, which implements our 
custom BPI damageable interface. We'll run it again, take a piece of damage, take a heal, take a heal, take a heal, take a damage, and that's it. A BPI blueprint interface is intended to allow us to make quick and easy interfaces. The nice thing about it is you can use the does implement interface so that way when we are overlapping if this let's say this was a projectile and we only want to make sure we damage things that can take damage check to see if it implements the interface BPI damageable and you're done.